The whale shark is the largest fish and at the same time the largest shark in the world. Much, however, remains unknown about this harmless and gentle giant. A research team in the Maldives studies the behavior of the whale shark year after year. There is still a lot we don't know about them. There are a lot of knowledge gaps. In the past, the shark was hunted, but today it is under strict protection. Undoubtedly, conservation is important for tourism. Tourism, however, can also become a threat. The shark is famous. The shark is famous. Huh? Mm, it's a victim of its own fame. It's a search, a waiting game, a preparation, and finally. A discovery. It's still there. It's just going down. Very quick. All right. Raise your arm when you see it. When you see it? Yes. There. That's what I'm doing. The whale shark moves slowly, just below the water's surface. At up to 20 meters in length and weighing up to 34 tons, he's the largest shark in our oceans. Despite his name, he's not related to whales. He can reach depths of up to 2,000 meters, where the temperature is only about 3 degrees, coming to the surface only to warm up. The team from the Whale Shark Research Program in the Maldives has been studying the whale shark and its behavior for years. Each sighting is meticulously recorded. Um, right now I'm just marking uh, the beginning of the encounter, so I would record the time, the coordinates at the time they saw it, um, you know, whether we started, spotted or joined the encounter, also the number of people, and then I would get in myself. Various data is collected in the water and photos are taken to later identify the animal. After about 15 minutes, it's time to head back to the boat to continue along the reef. Clara Canovas Perez and Chloe Wynn lead the expedition. We collect a lot. We collect vessels, megafauna, as well as whale sharks, because we want to get a more well-rounded view of how, um, you know, in the case of South Ari, how whale sharks are using this area and other sites as well. Um, so all of that data, is its purpose is for us to create research outputs which are essentially going to better inform um, policy makers and creating stronger conservation uh, sort of guidelines, laws. Whale sharks can be found in all tropical seas from Mozambique to Mexico to Western Australia. The whale shark research program conducts its research in the South Ari Atoll in the Maldives, about 100 kilometers from the capital, Mali. The South Ari Marine Protected Area was designated as a nature reserve in 2009. At 42 square kilometers, it's the largest marine protected area in the Maldives. That's almost 6,000 soccer fields. So far, 7,500 whale sharks have been sighted and registered in the atoll. Most are male and just under 6 meters long. 
in South Area Marine Protected Area, most of the encounters we have are with immature whale sharks. So whale sharks from five to eight meters in length. We also have one of the highest residency rates in the world. For instance, Fernando, uh, which is a whale shark in the database. He was first encountered in 2008 and he has been encountered over 350 times and seen every single year since then in South Area Marine Protected Area. As soon as a whale shark is spotted by a tourist boat, it takes only a few minutes for many more boats to arrive at the site. This happens at almost every sighting. If more than two boats are present, the whale shark research program team does not go into the water to spare the whale shark unnecessary stress, a rule that actually applies to everyone. The same goes for the rule not to get closer to the animal than three meters. The boats and the people in the water are systemically counted. Too many boats result in whale sharks getting injured by propellers. Many whale sharks have injuries to their skin and fins. Mm -hmm. But awareness is improving, albeit slowly. Rangers are even being trained to help control the number of boats. It is a very saddening situation to see uh, such busy encounters and in addition if you are encountering an injured whale shark but we can't do anything at the moment. What we do uh, normally offer is to operators, we offer them training sessions free of charge, we could deliver presentations for their guides and their guests too. Um, you know an area designated as a you know, an area of importance, a marine protected area, but it, it doesn't really mean too much if you don't have um, someone to regulate it and police it. Um, so in the, you know, in the instance South Ari MPA, um, you know, it is, it is uh, due for regulation. There will be rangers coming soon, and one of our staff members, Iru, has been working with the ranger training programs. So, you know, this is, it's great to see it's happening and it's gaining momentum. Um, but it's, it's taken quite a long time to get to this point. With a typical Maldivian wooden boat, a Dhoni, the researchers patrol the nature reserve day by day. In the evening, they return to the larger ship where the team also stays during the expedition. The locals are responsible for the maintenance and steering of the Dhoni and the main ship. The team from the Whale Shark Research Program only rents both ships. Like almost 70% of the Maldivian population, almost everyone on board has worked in tourism for years. Ashara Haru, 18 years, started for tourism, working until now 20, uh, 51 years. Fansas Enga Haru, Masayapurani, tourism, Ahareng, a million dollar dinas. Aharing <laughs> One week while we are talking to friend Nima, I mean, he came and he came and he came and In addition to Clara and Chloe, nine volunteers assist with the expedition. It was magical, actually. Yeah, and no, so I, there's something um, a little bit spiritual, I think, about seeing an animal in its natural habitat, and then you see something that is so, so large so majestical, so beautiful in its movements. Um, yeah, it was a, a very um, uplifting and very um, profound experience to see it for the first time. Um, and then once you see it a few times and you see the impact of the tourism, I think it just starts to think about, you know, just are you helping by being here and trying to look? Because lots of people, it's a natural instinct to want to come and see these beautiful animals. But um, yeah, it was um, it was exciting and it was really made me very happy. Walhaya, das war so ein Begriff, das hat man schon mal gehört. 
dass man mit denen schwimmen kann, aber ich wusste noch nichts über diese Tiere und habe vorher da diesen kleinen Wikipedia-Beitrag gelesen und das war's. Und alles andere habe ich jetzt hier gelernt und wirklich total fantastisch und auch wie wenig man eigentlich noch weiß über all diese Sachen und wie viel es da noch zu lernen gibt. Und ja, also wirklich eigentlich alle Fakten, die wir hatten und auch genau, was, was halt auch, was der Mensch ausrichtet, halt mit den Tieren, mit den Ozeanen und so, halt das nochmal so vor Augen geführt zu bekommen. Das war heftig, ja. We were snorkeling and not expecting to see a whale shark. I think I was a bit too shocked to really enjoy it. I think I enjoyed the second and third encounters more than the first one. But surprise was really the first thing and how amazingly beautiful they are and how it just came out of nowhere. Dieser Dreiklang zwischen dem Land, den Menschen, die hier seit Jahrtausenden leben, dann sind auf der anderen Seite die Touristen mit ganz eigenen Erwartungen um ihre schönsten Tage im Jahr zu verbringen und die Natur, die im Grunde sowohl für die Menschen als auch für die Touristen sehr interessant ist. Und in diesem Dreiklang, da gibt es sehr schöne Momente, aber es entstehen auch Spannungen, weil die Natur natürlich jetzt nicht unerschöpflich ist. But volunteers alone are not enough. There is also a need for new talent from the local population. One who has just started his internship at the Whale Shark Research Program is a 21-year-old local Zian. Whale Shark is a lot of fun. If you want to go to the balance, you can go to the balance. 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 We are in communication with them. Um, it has been a, a long journey, if you like, because um, essentially, like, you know, here in Maldives, uh, there's still an amount of sort of infrastructure that's needing to be built, um, you know, in, in many different facets of the country. Um, so when it comes to conservation policy, you know, uh, it's it's very much a human topic as well, you know. I would say with uh, policy making and conservation, what benefits animals is also going to benefit humans, um, who are, you know, in the case of South Ari, like humans are making a money off whale shark ecotourism, um, you know. So it's there needs to be sort of a long a long termism kind of uh, you know view taken in this way. At the end of a long day, the collected data is transferred to the computer. Clara and Chloe compare the photos with the existing database of over 700 animals, mostly manually, due to each pattern of the shark being unique, like a human fingerprint. So we have to go through each photo ID in the database, you know, just looking with our eyes, trying to see is this one matching this one. Um, so yeah, it can be a lot of a lot of strain on your eyes after a long day, um, but it's you know it's what's needed to basically see out the process in a very thorough way. You get to spend time with them, um, and of course, you know I don't want to stretch as far to say as they recognize us. I don't I don't think that these sharks are, are that their intelligence isn't sort of devoted to that kind of thing. But, you know, you do, as a person, I get attached, of course, like, you know, if, if for instance, one of my favorite sharks gets an injury, you know, that's something, it bothers me, because I've seen them without it, I've seen their behavior without it, you know. For instance, we encountered Shaiban in 2020, he was seen with a, a really terrible injury, and he went from being quite a relaxed individual to being quite evasive very quickly um, when he had this large open wound. So there, there is an emotional element to it, but you know, of course, when you're working in this kind of science field, data is not, you know, research is not known for being emotional. Whale sharks can live up to 130 years. While it's known that whale sharks are ovoviparous, much about their reproduction remains a mystery. For instance, there have been no recorded observations of whale sharks mating and it is unknown how long their gestation period lasts or how often they reproduce in their lifetime. 
Researchers worldwide believe that the whale shark population has shrunk by about half in recent years. How many animals actually exist is unclear. Whale sharks are on the red list of threatened species, one of the main reasons being marine pollution. Sharks feed on plankton, which they filter from the water with their gills. Through this filtering, they also ingest microplastics. Thus, the entire ecosystem suffers. And a healthy ecosystem is essential for tourism in the Maldives. In the last century, there was another threat. Until the 1990s, whale sharks were legally hunted. Today, it is prohibited worldwide. One who used to hunt them is Kayumbe. In a small museum, only the tools remind of that time. Gayumbe recalls a day when they caught six whale sharks. But when tourism came and the whale shark became more popular alive, the locals stopped hunting. The whale shark research project was founded in 2006 and has grown bigger and bigger in recent years. And understanding of the whale shark is growing, albeit slowly. Once regulations start being enforced, encounters with whale sharks will improve in the future. So we do hope that the situation will change for the best. So you're optimistic one way? I am optimistic. It has taken a while for the enforcement to come. You know, it was COVID, there's been political changes, but yeah, we are hopeful that the measures will be put in place and enforcement too. Research believes that whale sharks have existed for 60 million years. Similar animals are thought to have swum the seas about 370 million years ago, long before humans existed. It is up to us how long we want to continue observing these gentle giants in the sea. <laughs>